Who wants to do some practice on how to write maps in the IELTS Writing Task 1, particularly for the academic training task? Well, I'm Chris from IELTS Daily, and in this video, I'm going to do a practice writing sample so that you guys can follow how I think, how I put my ideas to kind of on the paper, and then we'll talk about some of the things that you could do to take away uh, and learn from this. So we've got a task today, which is a comparison between two maps. I haven't written this. I haven't prepared anything in advance. I've just seen the type of map that it is, but I haven't really um, thought about it very much. Let's have a look at the map on the screen. You will see that there is a, um, a, a question in blue, which is the two maps below show the changes to Destin Island in 1986 and now summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. Well, for me, maps is a very kind of important task where you have to make comparisons. Usually you might have to like a floor plan before and after, or it could be now and in the future proposed plans. So you do have to make comparisons. The important thing though to remember is that for task achievement, in order to get kind of band seven or higher, you have to be able to identify all the key features. And if you miss anything, annoyingly, you're going to be stuck at a band five or six in task achievement. It's a painful process for many people. And a lot of people take for granted maps and they think, oh, you know, maps are really easy. The reality is it's not as easy as you might think. So what I want to do today is use my timed uh, limit so that we can do something within 20 minutes and see if you could replicate something similar. We'll have a look at the map again. There is our um, first map before, which it says Destin Island, very clear. And then there is the map below. And what we'll do is we'll write a sample answer so that we have the with both of them. So we'll have the sample answer on the right and the map on the left. But I just wanted to make it full screen so that you could see it here. Um, what I'll do, I'll set the timer and put 20 minutes on the clock. Timer for 20 minutes and hopefully I will finish within the given time. My timer is starting now. So I've got 20 minutes. Here we go. The first thing that I want to show you is the map before. And it's really, really, really important that you cover this forest A, forest B. You cover the fact that there are houses. Um, there's a few restaurants. There are some shops and there's area of kind of of countryside where there's nothing and there are two roads which go all the way through the um, through the the area so again we need to cover all of those things so I would say the best thing that you can do is list when you're making your plan make sure that you have a list of all those things that you're checking off Shall we have a look at those again so we're gonna go um, forest a and forest B now forest a we've got shops on this side and because there's no north, south, east, or west, we should probably say on the left-hand side of the on the left side of the road, okay, and um, below this road or below Forest A, because we can't guess which way is north or south. So we've got Forest A, and below them, to the left of the road, are the shops. Let's make a note of those in our document. And if I just move this up, you should be able to see it on the screen as well. So we had Forest A shops. Um, we can say that it's on the left side of the road. And if we go back and look at the rest of it, which is Forest B here. And below that, there's a road. And there are also some re two restaurants and some houses. I'll write those in as well. OK, 
Okay, so those I think are the main areas. There's some trees, forest A and countryside with some trees. Did we cover everything there? Yeah, I think there's some houses with some trees in them. Forest B, I think that should be everything that, that's covered on Destin Island in 1986. We should definitely include that in there because the the year will be a key feature, 1986. And moving forward to now or today, let's see what the difference, what the main differences are. If we open up the second one, just open that on the screen for you now. Should have that here. Great. And Forest B now, uh, sorry, the Forest A has been lost. So that's really, really important. It's been lost. I'm just making notes so that you can see them. Um, what else can we see? We can see that the a new road has been built. We should make a note of that, a new road. And below the new road are is kind of, I don't know, a commercial center maybe, we could say that, a commercial center. And we've got five things, which are um, a cinema. We've got a bus station. We have a cultural center, a shopping mall, and a gym or fitness center. Let's, i just show you those on the notes that we've made here. We've got on here, we've got now today, we've said that, oops, we've said that Forest A has been lost. There is a new road. There's a commercial center or cinema with a bus station, cultural center, shopping, I think it was called a cultural center shopping mall and a gym. Those are the new things that we can see below. And if I just bring that here, you should be able to see that there. So five things on the left. Ah, we should also say that the um, really importantly, I have missed that part, is that the original forest A has been um, cleared and now there's houses with a new school really 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 cru crucial that we that we um note that so if we go back and say that forest a has been lost so there are new houses and there is a school as well that's been built and that was on the left side of the road there's a new road and on the right side of the main road let's have a look what's different about that one well forest b has now just become the forest area which remains the same. So we should also say that forest B remains the same. And we should also say that below here, there's actually a key and the key um, is in this one. So you'll notice here that there's a key for some restaurants and um, actually there's four new restaurants with houses and there's a parking lot. There's a parking, you can see the parking there. So if I just show you that here, we've got four new restaurants and I had to see that on the key. There is right in the middle, a new statue. There's a parking area. So I just need to make a note of these. So there's a new statue. There are four restaurants. There is a parking lot parking area and there are some new houses lots and lots and lots of things that have changed um are we missing anything there got the houses are they the same houses as before i just want to check that i want to have a look to see if they're the same houses they are there are more houses hopefully you can see that um here are uh, the two restaurants that were before. I think I missed that. Don't forget, you've got to capture everything. You really, really, really have to capture everything. And this is where the time is is really important for the planning. So it, yeah, two restaurants, I did capture that. Two restaurants um, on my 
information here. There are two restaurants, which is good. Did I put the shops on the left? Yes, I did. And there's also, let's have a look. What else is here? Um, I think the idea that there's more houses compared in the bottom right hand corner. So um, parking area and more houses, more new houses. Good. I think that's everything. I don't know if anybody wants to point out anything, but you have to capture all. Now it's time to write. And that's taken me eight minutes to plan. Okay. I've been talking a lot as well. Sometimes when I'm chatting through these, these types of questions, it will take me a little bit longer. But your first three to four minutes should be about planning and comparing all the differences. And you have to capture everything, unfortunately. Shall we do some writing? And let's see whether we can um, at least get somewhere towards a band eight. So sample answer. Sometimes um, it's faster for me to type. You can watch what I'm typing and then I'll talk about my answer. Okay, now, remember that with a, with a map, you can, in theory, combine your introduction and your overview together. It doesn't have to be kind of this separated paragraph. As long as the introduction states the main differences, the trend, the biggest changes, Let's take a look and see whether this is right. Destin Island has changed considerably since 1986, comma, with the addition of many new commercial facilities, comma, houses and roads. These changes have happened at the expense of a large portion of the forest area. Okay, so I'm summarizing that there's many new changes, but there's been a significant loss at the expense of a large portion um, at the expense of means losing the other part so we've lost the forest so basically we've built the new facilities but we've lost the forest and that we use the phrase at the expense of good let me just uh, make this a bit easier for you to read good Let's see if I can continue. The Destin Island area changing my spelling. So the Destin Island area in 1986 had large amounts of forest on both sides of the main road which ran through the center. On the left of the road was forest area A with some shops um, 
on the lower side of the map. On the right side of the road was forest B and on the right side of the road was forest B separated from some housing and two restaurants by a small road. Let's see if that makes sense. Sorry, you can't see that. My fault. I should move my um, face. I apologize. Let's see if I can make this a little bit easier for you to read. I'll make it a little bit smaller. My screen's quite small and the maps are quite big, so it doesn't always help. Let's go um, a little bit smaller. Okay, that might be a bit better. And let's make it a little bit smaller for you. Okay, let's read that again. Hopefully you can see that now. The Destin Island area in 1986 had large amounts of forest on both sides of the main road, which ran through the centre. On the left of the road was forest area A with some shops on the lower side of the, of the map. On the right side of the road was forest B, separated from some housing and two restaurants by a small road. Have I covered everything there? I've talked about shops. I think I've covered everything. Yeah. Um, so notice here that my paragraph is just about part um, the time before. If I look at my um, 1986 Forest A countryside, we did, haven't used the word countryside, we might do that. Shops on the left, Forest B, road, houses, two restaurants. I think we've covered everything. Great. Um, let me just do something more. Uh, let's do this. No, trying to make it um, easier for you guys to read with smaller line spacing. Okie dokie. Um, the area has undergone significant changes we could say so the area has undergone significant changes and looks very different today so there's my topic sentence yeah Let's have a look at that. Um, much of the forest has been lost, comma, with Forest A being replaced by a large housing area. Um, a new road has been built and the original shops have been replaced. Have I used the I've used the word? Um, the original shops have are now. What's in the original the shops area? We've got are now. Then the original shops are now. Um, have been built I've got three minutes left has been built and the and the area with the original shops is now a commercial center with a cinema bus station cultural center shopping mall and gym 
forest B remains on the right of the map, but the um, original housing estate has been um, on the right on the right of the map. I've got two minutes left. Forest B remains on the right side of the map. But the um, and and the original how and many new houses have been added to the estate. Finally, a statue has been constructed in the center of the map. as well as two new restaurants. Let's see if that's everything. We've said four restaurants, parking, ah, and a parking area. And a parking area. Don't forget, you have to cover everything. Commercial center, cinema gym, Forest B remains statue, four restaurants, parking area, and more new houses. Forest A has been lost. I think that is everything. Oh, school, 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 school. Oh my gosh. I've got one minute to go. This is what happens in maps. You have to, um, you always forget something. So on the left, being replaced by a large housing area and a new school. Really important. So let's see if we can read this again. We've got 45 seconds. The area has undergone significant changes and looks very different today. Much of the forest has been lost, with Forest A being replaced by a large housing area and a new school. A new road has been built in the area with commercial... Um, a new road has been built in the region, not area, region, with the original shop... Um, oh, that doesn't make sense grammatically. And now, with the original shops, now a commercial center with a cinema, bus station, cultural center, shopping mall, and gym. Forest B remains on the right side of the map and on the right of the map, and many new houses have been added to the estate. That's my time. 20 minutes. Um, and many new houses have been added to the estate. Finally, a statue has been constructed in the center of the map, as well as two new restaurants and a parking area. Wow. Three paragraphs, introduction and overview. What's the main, what are the main things that have happened? Um, 1986 paragraph and a today paragraph. I don't think many people realize just how hard writing a map is, covering all the points, especially in 20 minutes. If a native speaker had to do this with no preparation, they would fail completely. I'm not saying that this is perfect because there might even be some kind of minor punctuation or grammar mistakes or um, I would say that this would be somewhere band eight or higher. I'm not guaranteeing it's band nine because under time pressure it's so hard even for native speakers to get everything perfectly. We'll have another quick look and um, again I would always advise you to take a quick look and to see whether there's anything else that could be um, could be missing. Let's read it again. Destin Island has changed considerably since 1986, comma, with the addition of many new commercial facilities, houses and roads. These changes have happened at the expense of a large portion of the forest area. So far, so good. The Destin Island area in 1986 had large amounts of forest on both sides of the main road which ran through the centre. On the left of the road was Forest A, with some shops on the lower side of the map. On the right side of the road was Forest B, separated from some housing and two restaurants by a small road. The area has undergone significant changes and looks very different today. Much of the forest has been lost, with Forest A being replaced by a large housing area and a new school. A new road has been built in the and the region 
a new boat, a new road has been built and the region with the original shops now a commercial center. That's, a, it's correct, but it doesn't sound great. And the region with the original shops is now a commercial center, I'd say, is now a commercial center with a cinema bus station, cultural center, shopping mall and gym. Forest B remains on the right side of the map and many new houses have been added to the estate. Finally, a statue has been constructed in the center of the map, as well as two new restaurants and a parking area. Oops, sorry, you can't see that. Um, I mean, it's not perfect, but under a 20 minute time condition, it's about as good as we can do for now. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this map. I'll post the link in the description for where you can download this sample answer. Just come over to the IELTS Daily website and you can download this and study it and see if you can make any improvements. Did you think that was something that you could do or um, maybe there are some mistakes in there? Definitely have a look and give some feedback. We'd love to read your comments.